Max, uh, this Chicago team has a way of just hanging around. All that they always do, they do against the Blue Jackets. So what does it say to you that you guys were able to pull them off and, and continue to score and, and put this thing away? Yeah, honestly, since I've been in the league seven years now, like every time you come into this building, it's always a tough game. Um, especially you got guys like like Kaner over there that are I mean, so lethal they can take over a game and the brink cat and Strom's playing well right now too. So you gotta expect that. And uh, I think our group knew that coming in and end of a road trip, we kept it real simple. And uh, we knew the start was gonna be huge because we wanted to kind of get out with our right foot forward. We were able to do that and uh, kind of maintain it throughout the whole game. And even when they started to kind of pressure us a little bit, we kept our composure, which is great to see because uh, in the past we've kind of crumbled a little bit. So I think that's a lot of growth in our in our game and uh, as a group, and it's great to see. The road trip, I mean, you guys head out on the road for a five-gamer and you win four of them. That's, that's a pretty good accomplish, accomplishment for any team, really. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think anytime you can win, um, games, it's, it's massive, but that's behind us now. We're, we're not a group that uh, I can afford to, I mean, I don't think any group can afford to kind of go in the past, so it's behind us now. Got to get ready for a couple games at home um, and just start to the next one, so um, enjoy uh, enjoy this one for tonight and get back, rest up, and get ready to go. How big of a response game was this after the Calgary game? I'm sure you guys wanted to finish this road trip strong, but it, to feel like also to kind of just get back on the right track after that one? Yeah, for sure. You gotta have a short memory. Um, and that's what good teams do. They they learn from their mistakes and, and we knew we didn't have our best in, in Calgary. Also, that's a it's a heck of a hockey club. So um we didn't have the game we needed to to stay in that and, and to win it, obviously. And uh, I think we, we learned from that and we said, Hey, listen, that's a tough one, but let's bounce back and make sure we get this one tonight. And we did. So like just the way kind of a similar question to what Matt said, but just you know, every time Chicago came at you, you guys just had a response, had a response, had a response. That's been kind of a characteristic of this team throughout the year at times, but is, is that something that you guys kind of hang your hat on? Uh, I don't know if we hang our hat on it. I mean, I think any team or any player in the NHL wants to bounce back after they get scored on, right? That's just, it's part of sports, We're all competitive, competitive athletes out there. So no one wants to lose and no one wants to give up goals. And uh, we were able to answer whenever, I mean, the call came and it's great to see. Seems like uh, Chinnikov has been playing better recently. You know, it just means a rookie is going to try and get that consistency. How good was he tonight, though? It seemed like he kind of jumped off off the page a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, Chinny's been great all year, obviously. Um, he's a guy that knows how to get open, and all he needs is just to get the puck in the right areas. I mean, most of the time, he'll, he'll capitalize. You saw it tonight. He could have had, like, four or five goals tonight, but uh, he scored a big one there and created a lot. He made a heck of a play to me on, on my goal, too. So um, it was a great game by him tonight, and uh, he's only going to get better. So um, I think we were starting to build some chemistry. Curls played a great game too and uh, created a lot of lot of scoring attempts and, and shot attempts for, for Chinny. And he's the guy that we want shooting on that line. And he was able to do that tonight. You've been in that situation. You've been that guy before, that rookie who's you know trying to break through as far as consistency. What are you seeing out of, especially recently, out of Chinnikov in general and Sillinger? Uh, yeah, as long as you you just remember that it's, it's, it's a long season, right? And you're not going to have... You're not going to get a scoring chance every single time you got on the ice. You're not going to have your A game every single night, but there's there's ways that you can really impact the game in other other ways. Even though you are a goal scorer like like Cheney, or you are a playmaker and kind of like a two way power forward like like Silly, um, they have their strengths. But sometimes your strengths aren't going to be there for whatever reason. You got to find ways to kind of elevate your game in other ways. And I think both those guys are doing a heck of a job doing that. And that just comes with with age. And I mean, they're they're so young. <laughs> I think I talked to Silly today and. I was like, hey, like, are you born in 2000? And I think he said 2003. I'm like, oh, my God. Uh, like that's, that's insane. So it's it's great to see. I mean, it, it's great for a locker room. They're such great kids, too. Um, so he's so respectful, so hardworking. And, and so is Chinny. I'm getting to know him a lot better now. And his English is a lot better than he lets on to be. I'll tell you that for free. So it's uh, it's great to see. And they're such a big part of this group. So it's, uh, it's fun to see him get rewarded. On those same lines, uh, you know, Patrick Lanny comes to Columbus and he's got the reputation. We all know he had 40 goals in a season and 30 and this and that. How much fun is it for the team to see, you know, him being this red hot right now? Uh, are you guys having a lot of fun with him as well? Yeah. yeah I mean, goal scorers like that. I mean, we, we're lucky to have two of them between him and Bjorki. I mean, those are two elite goal scorers. Um, and and when they're going, it's it's fun to watch, man. It's it's crazy. And and, and Patty's just got such a heavy shot. And um, anytime a guy's got hot like that, you can kind of see it. They're, they're glowing and it's, it's nice to see him kind of get rewarded. He's been through a lot this year and, uh, we all love him to death as a teammate. He's a, he's a great kid and he's been through a lot, like I said, so for him to kind of get rewarded like that, and he's been such a big part of our team, it's, uh, it's awesome. And I'm super happy for him. Max, we've asked you about everybody else, but you, uh, you talk about other ways to impact the game, which I think we've seen all through this road trip tonight. You get rewarded with a goal and assist that what just 
What does it say about where your game is and how happy have you been with your play over this, not just tonight, but the whole road trip? Yeah, I think uh, as a whole, we're, we're all growing and we're all getting better. I mean, and, and you know what, uh, after a break like that, it's, it's, it's tough for sure. Um, and I think you've seen it in the past, it's kind of, it's, it's rare to have that long of a break and um, COVID cases and this and that, and, and, and guys being injured. I mean, we have some pretty serious injuries right now on our team and we found ways to kind of rally together and everyone's elevated in the game. And it's, it's awesome to see, to be a part of that is, is, is a special feeling for sure. And um, obviously I've been lucky enough to play with some, some great line mates along the way. And um, I think the last couple of games, uh, uh, Curls and I have had a couple different uh, wingers, but we've, uh, we've started to get some chemistry, playing a lot of, a lot of time in the ozone, get some chances, which is, which is awesome. Um, you feel good about your game, even though you don't necessarily get in the score sheet, you're, you're creating momentum for the team. And then all of a sudden they score the next shift. Um, I mean, I think that's something that uh, you can build on uh, with your game as an individual. And I mean, all, we're all in this together and we all got to get better every single day. And now is when it gets tough. So we got to find ways to keep elevating our game and, I mean, we're, we're a good hockey team. We know that, but we need everyone.